flying our first space shuttle called Columbia over the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where we all lived and trained. We were busy training John Young and Bob Griffin to maybe pilots like myself to fly the first mission. And finally got the Columbia launched on April the 12th, 1981. We wanted to fly this shuttle as early as 1978 when my class showed up there, but it took a lot longer to get it developed and get it tested and finally launching into space with only two astronauts, two Navy guys like myself, to make sure we could get it up there, fly it around, bring it home safely before we started increasing the crew size. I was high overhead, Kennedy, my little supersonic jet with Bob and Griff lifted off. And I was their emergency chase pilot, they call it. And if they'd had to come back and land at Kennedy, I would have joined with them and flown the other day to land at Kennedy, which thankfully they didn't have to do. They went into space, flew around 35 times, and I got to meet them two days later out in Edwards Air Force Base in the Mojave Desert in California, to make the our joint working on that. Eight miles above the Earth. But I was going as fast as I could possibly go in this jet. Full throttle. And they were as slow down as slow as they ever could get when we met. And I had to time this, and we practiced it for days. This rendezvous was probably the most complicated rendezvous in the history of aviation. But got this airplane going as fast as it can, the space shuttle going about as slow as it can go. We had a three second window to get together. So it, was a, it worked. I got to fly over the last 40,000 feet, last four, five minutes down with space shuttle of Columbia as Bob Crippen and John Young were back. And, landed in California at Edwards. I'm pretty lucky as a Navy guy, I got to, we trade pilots every year for test pilot training. We send one Navy guy in Edwards Air Force Base for Air Force training, and an Air Force guy comes to Navy flight tests, and I was lucky to be a Navy guy that went out to Edwards, and I got to fly all the Air Force airplanes, 35 of them during my year of test pilot training, come back to the Navy, fly all of my airplanes, so guess what? And when NASA rolled up and rolled around and said, we're looking for people to fly space shuttles, I felt like I was in a pretty good position. I mean, done graduate work, flown all the airplanes, and made sure I knew all the astronauts, and were on duty. And 